As the film begins, we are introduced to a mysterious man who has chosen to isolate himself, embodying the definition of a hikikomori. In Japan, hikikomori refers to individuals who experience severe social withdrawal, opting for extreme levels of isolation and confinement away from society. These extreme introverts self-isolate to such a degree that they seldom, if ever, leave their homes, instead creating their secluded worlds within their living spaces. The scene starts with the hikikomori man sitting on the toilet, messing around with the toilet paper. He tells us he spends a lot of time in the bathroom, even sleeping there sometimes. He isn't embarrassed about it because there's no one around to see. He keeps the bathroom door open because it makes him feel good, and he also says that's where he gets all his best thoughts. The hikikomori man has a TV at home, but he's never even turned it on. So he keeps himself busy by sorting out his stuff and reading lots of books. He loves adventure stories the most, but funny enough, he never leaves his house. He's been living like this for 10 years, and he can do it all thanks to his dad's money. Every month, the hikikomori man gets money in the mail from his dad. This money is enough to pay for his house and buy food, because he can have everything he needs delivered right to his door, the hikikomori man doesn't have to leave his house at all. He has a phone at home that he uses to order whatever he needs. He really doesn't like to see or be around people. When the delivery person comes, the man takes his package and pays without looking up or seeing who it is. Before he started living like this, the hikikomori man had a regular life and a job just like anyone else, but he really didn't like any part of it, he didn't like being around people, dealing with traffic, or working long hours. The hikikomori man really doesn't like being hot, and he's managed to stay out of the sun for 10 whole years, but he does enjoy looking at the sunlight. One thing he loves to do is watch the sunlight come in through his window until it goes away. He keeps track of time, but it only matters a little since all his days and nights seem the same. The hikikomori man spends his time watching the clock on his wall, counting the seconds to make the day go by. Then he prefers to sleep in his bathroom. He says it's where he has his best dreams, so he hasn't slept in his bed for years. A year later, nothing in his life has changed. He does the same things every day, including his special pizza time. He orders pizza every Saturday and keeps the boxes, stacking them up neatly to make a wall. And on this particular Saturday, just like always, his doorbell rang. When he opens his door, there's a woman's voice. Today the person bringing his pizza was a girl, which was unusual for him. He grabs the pizza without really looking at the pizza delivery girl, but when he hands over the money, he accidentally catches a glimpse of the girl's legs, and for the first time in 11 years, he looks up. Just then, the ground starts shaking because of a small earthquake. Everything in his house shakes for a few seconds, and then it stops, but the shock makes the delivery girl pass out and fall inside his house. The hikikomori man is really surprised and doesn't know what to do next. He tries talking to her, but she doesn't wake up, so he tries sprinkling water on her, hoping that might help, but she still doesn't wake up. The hikikomori man steps away from her for a bit, thinking he should just leave her be, but he doesn't feel right about it, so he goes back to wake her up one more time. As he gets closer, he sees she's got tattoos on her arms that look like buttons, each with its special job. There's a button for love, one for fear, another for sadness, one for going wild, and even one for a headache. The hikikomori man notices a tattoo that looks like the on-off button you see on gadgets right on her leg. He's unsure but goes ahead and pushes it, and just like that, she wakes up. She wants to know if he really pushed that button, and he says he did. After a little bit of silence, she looked around and said something nice about the stack of pizza boxes he had. She noticed one of the boxes wasn't placed right, and he quickly fixed it. Then the girl looked around his house and seemed really impressed. She sniffed her helmet, made a face, and said it stunk. After that, she hopped back on her bike and took off. In the days that followed, the hikikomori man couldn't stop thinking about the girl. He was totally taken with her, she was all he could think about. This messed up his usual routine. He found it hard to eat or sleep, and even going to the bathroom felt different. On a rainy day, he decides to chat with her and for the first time, orders pizza before Saturday. A little bit later, he hears a knock at the door and opens it, but instead of the usual young delivery person, an older man was standing there with the pizza. The older man, carrying the pizza, steps inside to stay dry from the rain. He then uses the hikikomori man's phone to call another worker who seems to have quit their job right in the middle of work. The man on the phone sounds upset, but he doesn't get any answer back. Watching all this, the hikikomori man feels a bit anxious and gives the guy a glass of water, hoping it might help him relax a little. The hikikomori man then asks if it is the day the delivery girl usually comes. 
the delivery guy tells him sadly that the girl quit a few days back, mentioning she was going to stay at home all the time now, and he hasn't seen her since. The delivery man was upset that no one seemed to want to work anymore, blaming it on everyone being glued to their screens and forgetting how to talk to each other in real life. After the guy leaves, the hikikomori man wonders where the girl lives, and the guy gives him a rough idea of her neighborhood. That night, the hikikomori man thinks hard about what to do. He really wants to meet the delivery girl, but he's the kind of person who finds it super hard to step outside his own home. So even though he wants to find her, he's in a tough spot because leaving his house is a big challenge for him. After a night of not sleeping again, he decides he has to see the girl. So he grabs his old shoes covered in cobwebs. After shaking off the dust, he puts them on. When he opens his front door wide, he takes a peek outside, trying to pump himself up. But suddenly all his worries flood in and he can't bring himself to step out. So he just stands there at the door, unable to move for the whole day. He spends the night still stuck at the door, trying to figure out what to do next. The next morning rolls around. His longing to see the delivery girl is stronger than his fear of leaving the house. Finally, he takes a step out. The sunlight is almost blinding for him, but the fresh air feels good. He tries to figure out which way the girl's place is and thinks about how to get there. He figures he should take a train but gets anxious about all the people. So he changes his mind and decides to take a bus but that freaks him out too. He went back to the front of his house and remembered he had a bike in the backyard, but the bike was all rusty and covered in plants, so it didn't work. Since he had no other option, he decided to walk instead. He started walking and then began running through his neighborhood. He noticed that there was nobody else around, and there were no cars on the road either. It was all empty. Then he realized that the thing he feared the most wasn't real. But where did all the people go? Here, we see a bunch of cars covered in rust and plants growing on them because they haven't been used in years. The only thing moving around is a robot carrying a pizza. The robot turns and smiles before going on its way, and that's when the hikikomori man realizes something. Technology has gotten so fancy that people aren't needed anymore to keep the world going. People hardly talk to each other anymore because they rely on technology. It's like humans have become pets, staying inside their comfy homes all the time. Some folks still wander around like delivery guys but most have just given up and gotten lazy. Robots have taken everyone's jobs and now they're the ones doing all the work while people just hang around being taken care of and entertained. The hikikomori man is wandering around the neighborhood, trying to find the delivery girl. As he walks he looks into people's windows and sees how they spend their time. Some are like him, sticking to a strict routine and keeping everything neat. But he also sees others who are still hooked on watching TV for entertainment. Then he notices a woman who last left her house 15 years ago. She seems empty like she doesn't feel anything, no happiness, no sadness. Her life looks dull and uninspiring. It makes him realize that this could be his future too and it scares him a bit. Then he keeps walking down the street and sees the delivery girl putting on another tattoo on her arm. He says hello to her but she quickly shuts her window when she sees him. He then hurries to her door and knocks on it, but she doesn't answer. Suddenly there's another earthquake, much stronger this time. It scares everyone in the neighborhood, and they all rush out of their houses. The hikikomori man calls out for the girl, but she still won't come out. During a big earthquake, everybody around was terrified. Everybody was running away from tall buildings, worrying those might crumble down on them. All sorts of stuff began to drop from above, like it was raining things and a bicycle nearly smashed into someone. There was chaos everywhere. But then just as suddenly as it started, the shaking ground calmed down. People slowly stopped running and looked around, realizing it was over. They began heading back to their homes, and the busy streets quickly emptied. Everything turned silent again. The hikikomori man turned to the sound of the girl as she was standing behind him, wearing her helmet. Seeing that the hikikomori was all right, she returned to her place, but the hikikomori man didn't want her to leave. The hikikomori man ran up to her, grabbed her arm, and pleaded with her not to go inside her house. He told her that if she went back in now, she might never come out again. She tried to shake him off and started to walk away. As she hurried into her house, the hikikomori man grabbed her again, but this time, he did something different. The hikikomori man pressed a button marked love. Suddenly, they looked into each other's eyes, and a strong wind blew around them as if the world was reacting. Right then, another earthquake hit, but it was different this time, and that's where the story ends, leaving us wondering what happened next. Please support us so we can produce with better tools and with more high-quality movie recap.
with click like and subscribe. Leave also a comment so we can improve in the future.